Hello everyone, welcome to another instructional video from EGIS Associates. Today we're going to be talking about how do we assign ArcGIS Pro licenses to users in ArcGIS Online. So ArcGIS Pro supports a number of different methods for licensing. Uh, the first is the traditional single-use license where you have one license assigned to one computer. That's been the standard method of licensing software since, well, I guess there was software. ArcPro also supports concurrent use licensing, also called network licensing. This is where you have a license manager. It's another piece of software that is running on another computer somewhere. And every time somebody starts the application, the application talks back to that license manager to see if a license is available. That allows you to install the software on an unlimited number of computers, but only uh, the number of users equal to the number of licenses you have can be running it at any one time. So it does provide a level of flexibility. The other method of licensing that ArcGIS Pro supports is what we call named user licensing. And this is where we assign a license to a user login. And this is becoming a more common practice, not just for uh, ArcGIS, but also for AutoCAD and Adobe and Microsoft 365 and, and so on, where we're assigning that license to a login, which means that user can go to any computer that they are able to log in on and access their software. This is the default method that Arc Pro uses, and we can assign this uh, via ArcGIS Online or Portal for ArcGIS. And the method is the same, it just depends on how your organization has configured its licensing. And so what we'll do now is move on and do a demo, take a look at how do you assign licenses to your users via ArcGIS Online. Okay, the first step is to go to your, your browser, because ArcGIS Online is a cloud-based solution, so you access it via your web browser. In this case, I'm using Chrome. You can do it via Firefox, IE, Safari. It, it doesn't matter whichever one you want to do. Uh, and you're going to go to www.arcgis.com. So this is the uh, landing page for ArcGIS Online. If you already have an account, you click here to sign in and sign in with your credentials. Now, I should point out that this does require you to be an administrator for your organization. Uh, a standard user or publisher uh, cannot do what we're about to do. So you have to be an administrator in your ArcGIS Online account to do that. So once you've logged in, if you are an administrator, like we were saying, you automatically come to your organizational page. So you can see that up here at the top where it says organization. You're presented with an overview of your organization's use of ArcGIS online, your total credits, you know, credits used over the last 30 days and, and so on. So this is as a administrator gives you a dashboard of how your organization is using your ArcGIS online account. So to assign an ARC Pro license, what you want to do is up here at the top is come here to licenses. And this gives you an idea of the software available and the extensions also for ArcGIS Pro that you have available. So you can see here, I have licenses of ArcGIS Pro Basic and ArcGIS Pro Advanced. I have a total of five Basic and 20 Pro Advanced. Then I also have the Spatial Analyst, 3D Analyst, Network Analyst, Geostatistical Analyst, and so on, extensions for ArcGIS Pro. And again, you see how many I have versus how many have been assigned. Now going down here, you'll see this is a list of all of my users that are assigned to my um, organization. And if I want to assign them a license of Arc Pro, you'll see here it says licensed for. I'm going to go down and say for Keith here, I want to uh, configure his licenses. I click where it says configure licenses. And it takes me over to the assign page where I can then choose, say so I'm going to give him an advanced license and he needs the spatial analyst and 3D analyst extensions. And then I just click assign. Notice it says it has been successfully configured and I click OK. 
So it's really that simple to assign license. If you need to take away a license from an existing user, so maybe you can assign it to another user or whatnot. Uh, again, say for Brian Willis here, if I wanted to remove some of ex his extensions, I'm just going to click here where his licenses are listed and say, well, um, he doesn't really need the maritime charting, aviation uh, airports extension, or the map uh, mapping production extension. Uh, also notice you can update uh, or notify the member via email of these updates. And I click update. And again, you get the notice and OK. OK, so now you've seen how it's very easy to assign a user a license of ArcGIS Pro via ArcGIS Online. If you're using Portal for ArcGIS to manage your licenses, it works very much the same way. You would just go to your portal address to do that. Also, this does require the user to be an existing member of your organization. So if this is somebody new that's coming into your organization, maybe a new employee or whatnot, then you'd have to create their user account first, their member account. And again, as the administrator, you'd go to members and then invite the new member here to do that. And you would run through this new member wizard um, to create that new account in your organization. I'm, I'm not going to go through that today. That may be the topic for another video, but just so you're aware that that is the starting point for creating or adding a new member to your organization. So there you have it. That's how you assign a license to a new user. I hope uh, you found that useful and learned a little something along the way. Remember, EGIS Associates is here to help you with any of your GIS needs whether you need assistance with enterprise GIS implementation or even just basic implementation. Systems integration, so integrating GIS with an asset management solution, a utility billing solution, uh, maybe a strategic plan. You're trying to figure out how to take your GIS from where it is now up to the next level. We can certainly help you with that. If you need some rent -a tech some staffing services, whether it's on-site staff or remote s services for data updates, map creation and analysis, we can certainly help you with that. And of course, training and support. We're, we're here to help you out. Feel free to, to reach out to us at www.egisassociates.com or give us a call at 678-710-9710 or shoot us an email at info at egisassociates.com. So that's it for now. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if uh, you found this useful. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you would like any additional information on new updates as we post new videos and things of that nature. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day and we we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.